Thank you. It was my pleasure, Anand, uh, being here and being able to uh, talk about Dr. H. M. Munji, one of the, I think, uh, one of the most important uh, and well-known uh, Baha'i doctors and Baha'i teachers in India. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you, Anand, for having me. Well, um, Anand, I met your uh, grandfather. Uh, was it your great grandfather? H. M. Munji is your grandfather. Yeah, and so he met him um, uh, many, many years back. Probably going back to at least uh, forty or fifty years. Uh, but my father also was Mr. Munji's good friend. In fact, uh, my dad was his patient at one point of time, and Dr. Munji also treated him for some ailments. Yeah, the memories that I have uh, are quite vivid in my mind. And uh, Dr. Munji always uh, was very loving uh, towards uh, our family. And uh, he often shared stories uh, of my dad and him uh, being together. And uh, I had so many questions because I lost my father when I was six years old. So I didn't know a lot about my father, but he did tell me quite a bit. Uh, about my dad, whatever I inquired from him. I think one of the most uh, fascinating qualities of your of Dr. Munji was his ability to speak several languages. I don't know whether it was 10, 12, or 14, but he knew many, many, many different languages. And uh, I was quite fascinated, though he didn't live in Maharashtra. He was once passing through Y and Panchgani, and we happened to attend uh, a conference. A meeting was uh, arranged in Y, 
And for the first time ever, I heard Dr. Munji speak in Marathi or rather give a talk in Marathi. So that was quite impressive. I knew he knew many other languages, but Marathi, I didn't expect him to speak Marathi and he did and very beautifully too. Do you hear any word of him in the Bible? Uh, yes, I was. Um, um, I didn't travel much with him, but uh, we did go to a few of the villages around Panjgani. Whenever he came to Panjgani, um, he uh, made sure that he joined a teaching trip of some sort. And then, yes, so we did accompany him. But he was a wonderful speaker and his... Uh, his comments were very, very delightful, and the listeners would be wrapped in, in his conversation and listen to him with great interest. So that was his ability to share the teachings of Baha'u'llah uh, with the generality of mankind. Any kind of audience he had, whether it was the simplest villager, farmer, to the most elite and most educated college professor, or whatever in between. So he was very good in teaching the faith to a wide variety of audience, I can say. Yes, there were several books uh, that I came across. Now I can't remember any particular book, um, uh, but maybe a little later I will uh, recall, but yes, he was also a very good writer. I think he wrote about, um, I'm not too sure whether it was about the early believers uh, uh, in India or not, but I'm not too sure about that. Do you have any interest him any daughter? Uh, yes, I did, because he, uh, um, once I asked him that, uh, you know, uh, how did you treat and why did you treat my uh, father? What was the issue? He said, at one point of time, my father had uh, his feet were very sore and swollen. And I think he mentioned elephantitis or something. So the feet really become swollen and big, like the foot of an elephant. And he had treated my father um, with the homeopathic medicines and it completely eradicated that issue. And it never came back. But when I asked him, uh, then why didn't you treat my dad? Because he died of appendicitis finally he says your father never mentioned to me that he was suffering with uh, appendix issue of appendicitis had he uh, told uh, had my father mentioned this to dr munji i'm sure he would have helped him but such is life and <laughs> Yes, yeah, so uh, Dr. Munji was different from other doctors because he had a very holistic approach towards medicine, not like a typical uh, physician. And uh, that's why he would discuss some of the issues that how we can overcome some problems of, uh, uh, for instance, making this powder uh, for his medication. So he always uh, used to research and find new ways of uh, dealing with his, um, dealing with the medicines that he was trying to uh, manufacture or make or use. So that in that way, he was very different from other doctors. Yeah. What well, we 
Frauen sind alle Hummeln Mann. Um, yes, what can we learn from him as a human being? Well, there's heaps to learn from a person who is so uh, highly educated to being uh, a very uh, active Baha'i teacher. And as I said earlier, being able to give talks to all kinds of people in so many different languages. Uh, so he always inspired and motivated uh, me and my friends. Whenever we met Dr. Munji, it was a, a great learning experience. Though we were, uh, we had a lot of difference of age. He was much, much senior to me. But uh, nevertheless, we communicated very openly and frankly, and we were like close friends. Have you ever met? My grandmother, daughter, Nelly Mune. No, unfortunately, I never had the bounty of meeting your grandmother. Um, and uh, yeah, because, but I had uh, something I could recall. I don't know. My, one of my brother-in-laws, I used to live in uh, in the city that your parents lived, and he was a paying guest yeah. uh, with your parents uh, at some point of time. Yeah. My brother-in-law's name is Hedayat Mogaddam, mm -hmm. and Hedayat Mogaddam stayed with your parents as paying guest in their house. I forget the name of the city where he lived. Yeah. I think it was in Kanpur. Yeah. Um, yes, it was in Kanpur that yeah. uh, my brother-in-law stayed with your dear parents and uh, yeah. and he also went to college or university for a couple of years, having lived in Kanpur. Yeah, he had come from Iran and uh, yeah, and he was kind of a young uh, pioneer and a student uh, in India, so he lived in Kanpur during those days. My wife's brother, yes. I am Yes, I think this app is <laughs> even new to me, and uh, I think it's it's done its job. <laughs> so, Anand, yeah. uh, good job. I think you've tried hard, and I think this app is also quite useful in uh, being as being able to communicate. Though it is after a very long time, maybe made, yeah. maybe more than thirty years, yeah. Anand, we haven't met with each other, yeah. right? Yeah. Thank you so much for joining us today for this wonderful interview. Thank you. It was my pleasure, Anand, uh, being here and being able to uh, talk about Dr. H. M. Munji, one of the, I think, uh, one of the most important. Uh, and well-known uh, Baha'i doctors and Baha'i teachers in India. Thank you so much for having me. Bye for now. Bye, Anand. Bye.